Music's Cradle Over thousands of years, the world's oldest civilizations, in Mesopotamia, Egypt, northern India, and China, developed musical traditions. Although the sound of their music has been lost, surviving artifacts show the vigor of music making in these ancient societies. In this episode we will learn about the rise of musicians and how the evolution of music went hand in hand with wider developments in human society and culture. Welcome to Music History Podcast by Viola Studio Channel. Around 4,500 years ago, hundreds of musicians worked in the service of the priests and secular rulers of the Sumerian city-state of Ur, in southern Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq. Singing played a key role in religious rituals, and court musicians provided accompaniment for state ceremonies and banquets. The Standard of Ur, a Sumerian artifact now in the British Museum, shows a lyre player and a singer entertaining the king at a feast. A few beautifully made Sumerian lyres have survived into the present day, they are the oldest existing stringed instruments. The Sumerians also played harps and lutes, plus varieties of wooden flutes and reed pipes. Percussion included drums, tambourines, clappers, and a kind of metal shaker known as a sistrum. Rousing the people Succeeding civilizations in Mesopotamia and its surrounding area continued and expanded this musical tradition. The Assyrian kings, dominant in the area from 2000 to 700 BCE, maintained a court orchestra and choir that sometimes gave public performances to gladden the hearts of the people, according to court records of the time. Musicians also accompanied the Assyrian army on its many campaigns, with drums and trumpets used to signal simple orders and messages. However, music was not restricted to courts and temples. Shepherds played pipes while minding their flocks, and singing and drumming accompanied heavy work in the fields. There must have been a wide range of musical expression because of the variety of purposes for which music was considered appropriate, from celebrating a victory at war to helping induce sleep. Valued Role Professional musicians were trained at music schools and probably organized into guilds. The value placed upon musical skills is well attested. When the Assyrians besieged Jerusalem in 701 BCE, the Judean king tried to buy them off by offering to hand over not only his wives and daughters, but also his male and female musicians. Music of the Gods Music permeated the myths of the Egyptian gods. Osiris, the god of the afterlife, was known as the lord of the sistrum because of his association with the instrument, a kind of rattle. Bess, the god who presided over childbirth, was often represented with a harp or lyre. Egyptian priests and priestesses intoned hymns to the gods as part of their daily duties, as well as at special festivals. At court, the chief musicians had high status and formal rank. Many of the court performers were women, who also danced. Egyptian instruments were similar to those of the Mesopotamian states, but the harp was more developed, with two meters high instruments by 1200 BCE. The music of ancient Egypt changed little over the centuries, with tradition upheld by the academies that trained musicians. There must have been a freer popular tradition, however, for Egyptian paintings show peasants dancing to pipes and drums. Indian Traditions The distinctive musical tradition of India must have had its origins in the Indus Valley civilization that flourished from 2600 to 1900 BCE, but little is known about this period. From around 1500 BCE, the sacred Hindu texts known as the Vedas emerge. 
Some of these were recited, but others were chanted or sung. Specific instruments are mentioned in ancient Indian texts. King Ravana, a follower of the deity Shiva in the Hindu epic the Ramayana, is credited with the invention of the Ravanatha, a bowed string instrument made out of a coconut shell and bamboo. Another Indian instrument that has survived from antiquity is the mridangam, a double-sided drum, which, in Hindu mythology, is said to have been played by the bull god Nandi. A range of plucked stringed instruments, the veena, are believed to date back to the times of the Vedas. Many of the instruments prominent in Indian classical music today, including the sitar and the tabla, are of medieval origin. Bells, Chimes, and Silence China has a continuous musical tradition stretching back over 3,000 years. From the earliest times, its mix of instruments was distinctive, including the prominent role assigned to bells and chime stones, slabs of stone hung from a wooden frame and struck with a padded mallet. The sheng, a form of mouth organ with bamboo pipes, and varieties of zither have remained central to Chinese music through its history, as have flutes and drums. The Chinese also developed a distinctive aesthetic, in particular exploiting the effect of sounds fading into silence. Harmony of the State Music was seen by ancient Chinese philosophers as reflecting the fundamental order of the universe. China's imperial rulers were convinced that the correct performance of ritual music was essential to upholding the harmony of the state. From the 1st century BCE, court and military music were strictly directed and regulated by the Imperial Bureau of Music. However, most music escaped official control. The Chinese opera developed from the 3rd century BCE. And from the period of the Tang Dynasty a popular music scene flourished in Chinese cities. The music of Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt will be inherited by the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete, and then by ancient Greece and the Roman Empire, the source of European musical tradition. Music History, Viola Studio Channel